Alrighty, hello, hello, hello. Today we're going to be playing a little bit of Nexamon Extinction, and uh, we'll switch over to the gameplay right now. Thank you very much. So, like I said, we're going to be playing some Nexomon Extinction. This is a game I actually did a video on quite a while ago on uh, on my main channel. And since then, I've heard people say that it's had quite a few updates and got quite a bit better. It was already quite a fun game, but apparently it's better now, and I am always willing to check out a game if it updates itself and gets better. So, we're going to jump in. You'll see I've got, I think, two saves on this thing. I believe they're part of the same save. I believe that slot three is an earlier version of that slot one save. Uh, but I put in 17 hours into this thing. I'm going to start afresh on slot four and see if this has actually improved. Really hope it has. Humans. Basically a Pokemon game. Together we have but in some ways it's actually slightly better. Anyway, I'm going to shut up while I do the cutscene. Together we have risen against every odd and hardship. This world is built over millennia of friendship, loyalty, and love. And that is what fools like to believe. In times immemorial, the Nexamon had a merciless king. Omnicron was his accursed name. This monstrosity led his brethren into a grand crusade against all of mankind. And as such, the Nexamon scourge tried to eradicate us into oblivion. But we stood strong and a group of brave heroes found a way to outsmart Omnicron by taming his own children and turning them against himself. We were able to slay the King of Monsters and defy the Wheel of Fate. Victory was at our grasp. Omnicron's legacy is now barren. Nothing but a sad whisper in the wind. Finally free from his shackles, the Nexamon had become our companions for life. Our world, our people, and our future were set towards a bright tomorrow. But that day never came. For the true age of extinction has just begun. All right, I think we're back on. There we are. Uh, yeah, there's going to be a fair bit of reading in this thing, by the way. Ah, look at this view. Tell me, what was your name again? Uh, I believe it was Red. And the other guy's name's Gary. Uh, yeah, that's right. Put my full email on screen. Thanks for that. Thanks for that, PS4. Uh, Nate. Yes, it is. That's one of my very old emails, to be fair. If you want to spam that, spam it. Uh, oh, there you are. Look. Right there. You're in that airship. Yeah, that's me. Yep, that's you. Oh, or is it? Ah, yeah, you can uh, customize your character a little bit in this one. There's not a great deal to pick from. Probably going to go with what I did last time. Oh, I, you can have like a Q-bone on your head. But it's definitely not a Q-bone. Don't say it's a Q-bone. Uh, probably going to go with the little Ash Ketchum with the blue hair. Ketchum. Uh, is this how you will look? Yes, that'll do for me. Thank you. All good. Oh, don't worry, lad. Things are going to be just fine. I'm sure they are. Everyone who says things are going to be just fine, they know they're not. I cannot believe my eyes. How did it come to this? Why is this happening? Why did my voice break? Nate, that boy betrayed us all. Look, I'm sorry. Everything we have built, everything we've been fighting for. Such raw power. Such absolute wickedness. The end of days is upon us. Amelie, we must retreat now. It's not worth it. 
Shut it out, Edward. Listen to me and listen well. If we are to save our planet, Nate must be on... Nate must be annihilated. Look, I'm real sorry. Stand with me, tall and proud, against the face of evil. Our people will rise as Nate falls. I don't think that's the first time that's even been said to me. That's not even the nastiest thing that's been said to me. Uh, I will never forgive you. You've doomed us all, Nate, you accursed brat. Sorry. But hey, at least we've got the nice music now. Uh, I knew it! What are you doing here, Nate? Today's the big day. You do know what day it is, right? Of course I do! I don't need the tutorial. Then what are you waiting for? We're about to become real tamers. Don't mess this up. Not trainers, tamers. The, other, the others are already outside, Nate. Hurry up. Go get some supplies from the storage room. If you can even remember where that is. Alrighty, let's do this thing. Probably better with the D-pad this one. Let's see what these guys have got to say. Oh, wow. Nora was really mad at you. That's just because today is the big day. Hee <laughs> hee. You guys get to become guild tamers. How cool is that? Eh, that's pretty cool. All right. We know. Oh, there's an item. Sorry, sorry. There's an item. We're going back. We're going back. There's a couple of items in here, actually. What do we get? So there's a chest, uh, which has 50 coins in it, which sounds a lot, but I have no idea in this game. I can't remember. Found an apple. Don't know what that does. I mean, I know what an apple does, just not in this game. Uh, and more, more coins. So they just left $70 lying around in this place. Let's see what the apple does. Uh, a sweet apple, ideal for long trips. It is easily found in the outskirts of any town. That doesn't tell me what it does, but okay. Maybe it heals. Heal would be an obvious thing. Let's, uh, is there a run button? Yes, or is it circle? This one's on PS4, by the way. Very weird. The only Pokemon game not on, not primarily on Nintendo. One, two, three. Only three kids this year. Hold on a second. Three, there is supposed to be a fourth brat. I'm sure that he's on his way. Why are we waiting for Nate? We're wasting time. All right, dude. Yeah, exactly. Calm down, Ross. Patience is a tamer's greatest virtue. You just made that up. I remember Coco. Coco, best character. We are waiting. Period. Uh, meet with your friends. Okay. Seems like a pretty easy objective. I want to get that item there, though. Can we actually just leave? Oh, we totally can. Okay, didn't know that was a thing. And the game is going to turn me back around, right? Whoa, whoa. You're one of the orphanage kids, aren't you? This place reeks of wild Nexomon. You don't want to be eaten, right? I don't want to see you being eaten. I can't let you roam around here without an Exomon. Go away! There's more freedom than Pokemon. You can't possibly leave without meeting up with Professor Oak in Pokemon. Shows you how old I am. I'm talking about the original Pokemon games. Wonderful. Nate graces us with his presence. Let's get this over with, Amelie. Ah, heroic shot. All right, then. Greetings, children. My name is Amelie, and I represent the Tamers Guild. Every year, we select a number of youngsters to become Nexamon Tamers and join our ranks. This will be the turning point of your life. And I'm here to ensure your success. But we need to have our own Nexamon to register, right? As is our tradition, yes. The Northern Woods are an ideal place to acquire your very first companion. You have until midnight. I'll fetch you from the woods once the time is up. You're sending a bunch of kids into some woods until midnight. Fret not. Nothing can happen in this ancient forest. Alright, you clearly never played an RPG before. Coco, best character. You'll be fine for Ulzar's sake. Don't know who Ulzar is. Go, the clock is ticking. All right, up into the Northern Woods we go. Talk to our friends for a little bit. All right, so here's the plan. Unlike normal people, Coco can use his sense of smell to track any Nexomon for us. See? Then... Normal people? 
This is a waste of time. I'm going my own way. Good luck, guys. You do as you please. Then I'll be taking this road. Don't follow me. All right, Coco's our companion. Sweet. Oh, well, at least we've got plenty of time. We should... Where, uh, where should we go, Nate? Maybe we should check out the... Uh... Impossible. Nate, what are you doing here? Hear me out. Something dangerous is coming our way. Who are you? What does that matter? Now is not the time, Nate. Go back to the orphanage. We'll just put... Going back to the orphanage, we'll just put the other kids in danger. Listen to me. There's a fake statue to the north. Got it? It has a secret chamber underneath where you can hide. Hurry up. My time, our time, is running out. Why are you shaking? You want to go to the north? I suppose it's as good as any other path. Sure. I think it's the only path available to us if we're not following someone else. Can we... Can we get this item? Mm, we need to move that mushroom, don't we, to get that item down there. I don't think there's anything else we can do. We need a pickaxe for this. If only you had a pickaxe. Yeah, I remember that. Ah, the statue. Hey, Nate, look. There, there's something in the sky. Whoa, that's super huge. It's like a shooting star or something, huh? Might as well... Might as well make a wish. <laughs> I wish for a completely normal and uneventful adventure. <laughs> I don't know if there's such a thing as an uneventful adventure. But this ain't it anyway. Okay. What is that thing? Is that a dragon? Well, there's no way we can run from that. Probably not. <laughs> I love the crying faces. That's good. All right, our friend's back. So you were too slow, Nate. I told you to hurry. A dragon here of all places. Calm down, kid. Might as well learn how to fight now. Help is on the way. I need you to hold on for a little longer. Do you understand? I have something for you. Oh, the Nexo Traps are little pyramids as well, aren't they? I forgot about that. Come on, take one of these. And you get a really big choice of companions. This shall be your companion for life, so choose wisely, Nate. You will use this to fight the dragon, even if it's just for a little bit. You get a really big choice of, it, of companions in this. You don't just get three. We've got, what, nine here? I know what I want to pick. I want to pick the same thing I picked last time because it's the best. There's no doubt about it. And if you're looking at those now and thinking there isn't a best one, you're wrong. So we've got a normal normal type ne Nexomon. Who picks that? We've got Rubbish Bulbasaur. That's just not as good. The Fire Cat's kind of cool. The Water Bird's kind of cool, but really common, I think, out in the wild. You can actually catch all these out in the wild as well, which is awesome. The Ghost holding its head is my number two choice. That's a really cool Nexomon. But not the one I'm going to go for. Nor the cat, which is inexplicably air type. Uh, the psychic scary ass thing, no. The boulder dinosaur, no. We're going to go for the electric lizard, because that's the best choice, objectively. And I'm not going to change any names, because I am never going to remember what these things are called if I start giving them nicknames. So we're going for Gokoko. A curious Nexomon with the ability to walk on any surface with its sticky feet. It challenges, it, so it challenges itself to stay hidden from others for long periods of time. Gekoko it is, and, and Gekoko is going to fight this damn dragon. And win. Now listen very carefully. Once this is all over, nobody can know about me. Understood? Keep your mouth shut, Nate. What about Coco? I'm going to tell Coco. You can do it, Nate. I believe in you. All right, so we've got to fight the massive dragon with a tiny little electric lizard. And when the HP comes up, you'll see why that's silly. Uh, what the heck are you doing? Nate, are you insane? Come back here, please. All right. 
Let's do this. Yeah, so it has 616 HP and we have 22. Now, in the original game, so stamina is PP in this. You sort of have a PP pool for all your moves. PP pool. God damn it. Uh, in the original game, you had like 20. In this one, now they've updated it so you have 100. That is way better. So, and it gives you all the stats as well, which is great. Lightning Roar seems just a way better move, so I'm going to go with that. It does cost more stamina, but it's way better. Also, one more hit and we're done. So, who cares? Oh, he missed. All right, let's keep pretending that we've got a chance. Oh, there it is. That would have killed us outright, by the way. That was 26 damage. 26. But we might have bought ourselves some time. I told you to stay back. What do we do? There's no way we can beat a dragon. We keep fighting. I like your guts, Nate, but not all fights are meant to be won. Come on, get in here. I wonder if there's a possible way to beat that fight. Some kind of exploit. Probably not. At the statue, it vanished. This is our chance to escape. <laughs> Jeez. <laughs> it just chucks us down the hole. I love it. Hey, Nate, come on, wake up. We're safe now. And underground. Hmm, maybe if I... Nate, your legs, the dragon got them. All right, calm down. Where did he get that Nexamon from? I'm going to tell him. He's Coco. He's got to know. That's the dumbest thing I've heard all day, but sure. Anyway, look at this place. What's up with this hidden chamber? We can't go back outside with the dragon out there. How about we explore a little? Sure. A hero's legacy. Can I have control, please? Beautiful. Gather up as much... As many goodies as we can. A synergy core. The cores were very important to this game. The synergy one must be... Um, XP share? Yeah, copies 25% of the of the EXP received by other team members without having to fight. So, as I recall at the time that I played this thing, there was no XP share and that made leveling up a nightmare. This thing is a level 3 core and it only gives you 25%. So, it's probably still going to be pretty aggressive about it. It's still not going to let you do it easily. Level up all your Nexamon while not fighting. Some people prefer that. Personally, I'd rather have an easy way of doing it. Just because it's just, it's just easier. It's just quicker than having to level up everything individually. But I'm just lazy. Nate, was it? Nice to meet you, child. My name is... Well, it doesn't matter anymore. Eh, that's a ghost. This is some kind of tomb. Relax, kid. I saved you just now from that dragon, didn't I? You waited until the last moment. Do you realize how traumatic that can be for a child? Anyway... The dragon is now gone, so you can leave if you wish. What is this place, anyway? My final resting place. I was once a tamer just like you. Whoa, were you strong? Heh, <laughs> not too shabby, I suppose. Did you hear that, Nate? He was a real tamer. He could teach us something. You know, that's not the normal reaction to meeting a dead person, right? But sure, I can teach you how to catch an Examon, if you want. There's a good spot up ahead. We can use that. Okay, but let's get the item. Let's bang in front of us first, shall we? Literally nothing can go wrong by following a ghost into a dark cave. I agree. Oh, it's the photo of them, yeah. Oh, wow, look at this, Nate. I wonder who these clowns were. They were the bravest warriors of my generation. And Spencer. I wonder which one Spencer is. Is it a little kid sulking at the front? I guess, probably. All right, and there's a chest here. What do we get? Super Potion. That's the exact same name it is in Pokemon. 
I'm going to go the other way than he did. I don't think it matters. No. I wonder if it's the same next one to catch as well for a training, for the training mission. Uh, this world of yours is horrible, disgusting, burning, depressing, broken. Yeah, we get it. But if you know where to look, you will always find a Nexamon. Can you see that shaking grass over there? There must be a wild Nexamon hiding in that spot. Approach it so we can capture it. Sure. Just give me a second because I want the item. Enter the grass and I will show you how to use Nexo traps. This may be a complicated skill to master, but... Do we just weaken the Nexamon and then throw the trap? Perhaps. Okay, I'm going to grab the item first. I'm pretty sure there's a little quick time event associated with catching them as well, which sounds interesting, but generally isn't. It's really easy to get them right. Uh, it's a skun cute. All right, we're going to capture this next one, Nate. The most important step is to weaken your target. Go ahead and attack. We'll go with lightning roar. Oh, that's 18. Wow, critical. I wonder if we could have killed it there accidentally. I guess not, because that's our strongest attack, and it, did, it critted, and it didn't die. Uh, not bad, Nate. I know that you're trying to skip this tutorial, so let's get this over with. Thank you. Uh, L1 and R1. Yeah, it tells you what your chance of getting them is. Somehow I sense we've got more than a 27% chance of catching this thing in the tutorial. Uh, yeah. It gives you too long for that to be a challenge. I did forget which one I started with, though. I think it's at the top. Alright, so we've got ourselves a skunkute. It is... Its adorable appearance belies its foul smell, which is its main defense against opponents. Yeah, we're keeping it in the party. It won't stay there for long. Once we get six Nexamon, we ain't using that thing, but for the time being, that's fine. Well done. There's plenty more I'd like to teach you, but I'm sure your friends will be looking for you by now. I'm sure that we'll meet again, but until then, stay safe. This world is not as gentle as it used to be. Alright, we can actually catch more Nexamon while we're here. Oh, it's the worst one. This is the worst Nexamon that exists. Rubby. I don't know why it's called Rubby. It's a bear. Who calls a bear Rubby? It just, it just ends up sounding dirty, to be honest with you. And I don't like that my mind goes there, but they called it Rubby. Some of them are named well. I'm all right with Gokoko. I'm all right with Skun Cute. But Rubby. Anyway, I should probably stop complaining about it. I could go on about Rubby all day. Come on. Catch. There we go. Rubby was caught. It could do with another little bit of an animation where it goes like, Oh, oh, and the next trap sort of shaking like a Pokeball. Uh, but yeah, it's fine. Congratulations, you caught Rubby. Don't leave your belongings unattended around this fluffy Nexamon. It checks every pocket around for things it can steal. Sure. Rubby. Rubby, though. Okay. Let's see what we've got. We've got Kafta. Use Lightning Roar on that one. Might end up using that Super Potion in a minute if we're not careful. There we go. We can probably catch it now. It's weary. Can we feed it? Give it an apple. See what that does. Kafta didn't enjoy it very much. <laughs> Even when I try to be nice and play the game right, it hates me. It did give us plus 5%, to be honest. That's okay. There we go. Come on. Yeah, that 5% that made all the difference. Uh, congratulations, you caught Kafta, a strong-willed Nexamon that learns very fast, especially new attack techniques. It gets easily distracted, but always strives to become powerful. Send it to party. See if we can find anything else new around here. A woozy? I don't remember this one. Also, it's not going to be weak to, to the things I have. Total 0% chance. I mean, we'll go with... Oh, it's going gonna, it's gonna to kill Gokoko. Can we switch Nexamon? I don't know if we can. Team, there it is. Skunk cute, you're in. 
It's a level 6 as well, actually. Holy crap, that's actually quite powerful at this stage. I think Rock Knight might have killed it if I'd have used that, so uh, probably made the right choice. Next, so uh, traps. Oh yeah, that's the other thing with it as well, isn't it? You don't get any experience for catching Nexamon. So if you don't finish the fight by defeating it, you don't get any XP. So all these times I'm catching Nexamon here, I'm getting no XP for it, which sucks. All right, congratulations, you caught Woozy, a fluffy Nexamon that resides on high plains. Its wool allows it to store a lot of static power. Yeah, we're keeping that one. All right, we may just want to throw in Skunk Cute for the time being, set it as the main. But I think we're going to Yeah, we'll check out what that one is. And then we'll leave. It's another Carfter. We'll try and beat it. To try and uh, get a level up. Yeah, we, we should be good. There we go. Yeah, that's the first XP we've got in the game. And it's 21 out of 90. God damn. Can we fall down this hole? All right, well, let's get out of here. Let's progress the game a little bit. Oh, there he is. Hey, got anything else to say? Hey, Nate, what's up? Ah, never mind. Oh, uh, no, 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 no. Can you heal my Nexamon? Oh. Then we could we could carry on training around here if we wanted to. Probably not a bad idea. Let's uh, take a little bit of time to farm some of these guys with Gikoko. I feel like we're already relatively strong. Oh, and if we get Stinger, we'll be even stronger. Yeah, one more of those and we should be good. We're running low on Nexo Traps, but to be honest, I want to train more than I want to catch. But uh, look at this guy. He's a scorpion. We're getting him. Oh, I forgot about the quick time and it still didn't matter. Still caught it instantly. There we go. Alright, congratulations, you caught Stinger. This Nexamon enjoys hiding underneath sand or heavy rocks. Unusually short-tempered for its size, even loud noises make it angry. We'll send it to the party. Oh, there's a Rubby. I'm gonna I'm gonna enjoy this one. I'm gonna enjoy lightning roaring the crap out of Rubby. Oh, it's puzzled as well. Let's uh, change the pulse storm. Keeps us a little bit more stamina. 21. We should also put on that synergy core on something. It's absolutely long term, probably worth putting it on Gokoko. I can't use it. Oh, I think you have to put it on like this. Yeah, you do. But I think for the time being, we might put it on something else. Put it on Stinger. We probably need a fire type. Might as well get him leveled up. Oh, there's another one. Doesn't seem very strong against us, to be honest. Pulse Storm it is. Gikoko might be able to take out one more enemy before it takes a hit. Where are you guys? Come on, I want to farm. There you are. A cloddy. I seem to remember in my video saying, what the hell is a cloddy? But there it is. And it's probably going to take out Gikoko. Maybe not. We're going to try and catch it because we haven't got one yet. Might as well catch any new Nexamon we come across. And then any that we meet that we've already caught, we'll use for training. Uh, congratulations, you caught Cloddy, a small cuddly Nexamon enveloped in fluffy fur that helps it keep balanced on its tiny legs. You, my friend, are the first of our Nexamon going to storage. And now we need to change the team around a bit. I think, I think I'm going to take that uh, core back. I can. There we go. Whoops. 
You get the synergy core. Because it's just great. And then we'll set Skunkute as the main. Do a little bit more farming. A Fanling. I'm going to try the... Let's try the Rock Knight. Yeah, I knew it wasn't effective, so I didn't go for it. But I didn't want to kill this thing, because we want to catch it, so... We're running out of Nexa Traps. There's a lot of variety down here. I think I messed up that QTE, actually, but still fine. At least I hope. There we go. Alright, we'll sub in Gakoko. If I was being really min maxi, I would change the, syn the synergy core for something else, for some other Nexamon right now. I'm not that bothered. Not when it's giving me like 4 XP a go. I think once we get Gakoko up to level 7 as well, we'll leave this place. Maybe start going face some trainers and get some real XP. Maybe get some more cores as well. They're extremely important. Ah, damn it. Oh, it's got a kick as well. All right, we're going to change out. What is good against electricity? That would be. Because it's got a rock move, but hey. Should we try Stinger? I know, I know fire isn't strong against electricity. I just figure nothing else I have is. It's also got double slash. Which only strikes once, apparently. See if we can finish this thing with Scratch. Damn it. Not quite. And I got a crit on us as well. Alright, Gakoko has leveled up. Alright, let's go out in the world then. Let's start.
start this game. After almost 40 minutes of the stream, let's start the game proper now. Hey, it's Amelie. Good gracious, Nate, are you alright? Now she's gonna talk like a war general, British general. A dragon just attacked the area. I've been looking for you. Now I'm not, I'm gonna stop that. Oh look, that's Miss Nothing Can Happen in the Woods. We were saved by a creepy ghost, by the way. A ghost? Please, you must be seeing things. You are talking to a cat. We're leaving the woods right now. Follow me back to the orphanage, Nate. There's no telling what will happen next. Alright, you got yourself a deal. Are we going now, Nate? Now that you finally own a Nexomon and some Nexo traps, it can't hurt to explore a little. Alright, now we got the side quest guys. I see that you're into Nexomon, but do you know what's even better than creepy animals? Shards. Beautiful, precious, marvelous elemental shards. Some rocks. They're not rocks, they're shards, ma I mean, yeah. Shards are valuable items, and they serve all manner of useful purposes. Interested? Yes. Superb, then I have an amazing deal just for you. For just a few coins and a couple of supplies, I'll give you a pickaxe. The most important tool to mine these precious gemstones. This feels like a scam. Talk to me when you're ready to make the greatest investment of your life. Uh, I'm ready now, but what do you want from me? Coins and other supplies. Bring them to him when you're ready to get the pickaxe. Pickaxe is absolutely vital in this game, so we are absolutely going to get it. This bit of hair on my head stands up randomly. Uh, but obviously, I don't know when we're going to get it. You have received a side quest. Keep track of your quests by accessing the journal on the main menu. All right. What do you want for this pickaxe? Because I will buy the pickaxe. I just need to know what you want. Oh, 200 coins, a potion, and ether? Done. Done. A million times done. Because I'm going to need that thing for the rest of the game. You're going to love that pickaxe. You'll be able to get so many shards with it. Most gemstones are found in caves rather than in the open. But the pickaxe will still come in handy for breaking boulders around here. Even if they don't contain any gems. Simply stand in front of a shiny boulder to smash it. Uh, you have completed this quest. Sweet. There we go, a nature shard. I don't think we can break the mushroom with it, though, which is what I kind of want to do. I want to get down here. Yeah, can't break the mushroom with it. Let's explore to the left a bit after we talk to this guy, see what he wants. Whoa, really? A dragon was seen nearby? Then a tyrant is close, because dragons like to hunt tyrants. We came here searching for caves to mine elemental shards, but I guess it's a bad idea now. Okay. Let's see what we can find around here. Oh, another item. It is a flan. <laughs> of course, it's a flan. When you find a flan in a bloody mushroom, you know you're playing a great game. Uh, we've got two grapes. We've got a revive. We've got a Synergy Core 1, which we should put on another Nexomon, really. But at the same time, I actually think there's no Nexomon that I really want to keep at the moment in my party. Once I get better Nexomon, the only one I'm going to keep is Kokoko. so let's just give it another Synergy Core so that when it isn't fighting, it's going to be getting a bit of XP. Those Synergy Cores are so good. Right, we've explored this way. Have a look at what's over to the right, and then I guess we'll go back to the orphanage. Hey, what do you want? Ready, huh? Mysterious crystals like these exist all over the world. They radiate a strange energy that's said to empower Nectamon in the vicinity. Tutorial! These strain strange boulders can be broken to restore your Nectamon team. Once shattered, it will take a while for them to grow back, so use them wisely. How many players had to complain to make this happen? I'm one of those guys! <laughs> I did a video on this complaining about this exact thing. <laughs> That was me. Oh, it's nice that they took feedback. I like that. I don't know if they saw that video. I think it's only got a couple of thousand views, so... They probably didn't. Probably other bigger people. But I like to think it was me. I like to think that was down to me. Uh, oh, Shromporo. 
Shroom Poro, because it's got mushrooms. Lightning isn't going to be great against grass. But we'll we'll go with it. Especially if it keeps missing. That's excellent. Go with Lightning Raw. Is grass effective against lightning? Is that a thing? Or electric rather than lightning? Uh, we do have three Nexo Traps remaining. Let's go for it. Nice and easy. The catch rate at the moment seems very high. Uh, you might venture through the forest without even noticing this Nexomon. It prefers dark corners in a thick foliage where it can grow and feed. I'd rather have that in the party than Ruby. I assume Ruby gets sent to storage, by the way. It didn't say he did, but I assume that's the case. Oh, look, okay. Another Shromporo. I don't really want to fight you with... Gikoko. Because it isn't working out for me. But at least you're puzzled now. Well, that does. I don't think it's like confused in Pokemon. I don't think it means that he's going to hurt himself. But I could be wrong. Maybe he just did and I i didn't notice. There we go. Down to 8. 8 HP. Might be time to sub in um, Skunk Cute. I mean, after all... Gikoko does have two synergy cores on, so he'll still get a bonus from it. Oh, Shromporo's around here like nobody's business. He's actually quite strong as well. That's a level six. Jeez. At least we got the crit, and I don't know if there's a chance to flinch with the bite on this. I don't think so. Crits are going off all over the place. May already be time to use another one of these crystals. Might as well. That is the main again. It's the only one I really want to train up. Let's uh, go see what's up from here. I think it might be a memory game, if I remember correctly. Yeah, so I think you got to stand or do the same moves as this thing. What's this? What's that? Newcomers, are they? The name's Salem. Aha! Want to play a game with Salem? Sure, why not? Hee hee. Then step forward and play with Salem, you shall. I've seen documentaries that start like this. Watch, watch, watch. If you miss it, you'll never win. So watch, watch, and watch. I'm not going to remember that. I'm not going to remember that. Salem has shown us the pattern to solve her maze. Follow it. So I've got it. I think it was here. Then here. Oh, bollocks. <laughs> that went too far. What? Brings us back down there. All right, Salem, I'll have another go. Show me again. I'll try and remember this time. Yes, let's play. Let's. Hopefully, you do the same maze and I won't forget. Next to the green bit. In the middle, but not too far up. Next to the green bit again. And then down on this green bit down here. And in the middle again. Okay, I can stand in those spots. I just don't know if it's going to track it for me. Hopefully, we don't go off the top of the screen this time either. So it was here, 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 oh, here, here, and then back to the top. How does it, it doesn't track it, does it? Either that or I got it wrong. Ah, uh, we're going to move on from that one. I don't know what's going on with that. Still exploring anyway. I hope to come across some trainers soon, but I don't know if they get populated until we move on with the story a little bit. So let's go back to the orphanage. Let's see if we can get there by going down instead of to the left there. Oh, there's a trainer. Unfortunately, we can't get to them just yet. 
A tamer, sorry, a tamer. Got a pair and some coins. All right, off we go then. Back to the orphanage. Have I even had another fight since I healed everything? I don't think I have, which would make it a waste. So let's uh, let's fight something. Hoyal. I don't remember that one. Has that been added since when I played? It's cute. It's a dog in a sailor outfit. It's cute. Go for the catch. Nice. Poyal was caught. Congratulations, you caught Poyal, an adorable Nexamon dressed as a sailor. Always ready for action and extremely loyal. He's going in the party. We can get rid, I think, probably of... Let's go Carfter. Woozy is a lower level, but Carfter's dumb. And Woozy's awesome. We will get rid of Woozy, though, because he's only level 3. Not going to be much use to us. Claudie, let's kill it. One of the things I really like about this game, though, as opposed to Pokemon, is all the information it gives you. So when you're going for an attack, it shows you the power, the accuracy, the stamina required, the speed, the crit chance, and the effect. And it shows you, uh, under each Pokemon's name, how rare it is. So you can see the Cloddy's uncommon. The Gokoko is going down as ultra rare because it's a starter version of it, but Gokoko is actually pretty damn common. The information the game gives you is excellent, though, in comparison to Pokemon. I think as well, if I remember correctly, trainers scale with your level. So me buffing up my Nexamon isn't really making that much of a difference to how easy the game's going to be. I don't think. Uh, but we might as well give it a go for now. Go for the bite. Gets me a seven. Now, which one of these attacks is quicker? Technically, Rock Knight is slightly quicker, so we'll go with it. I think we would have gone first either way. We can level up Skunkute while we're here. All right, we can probably le level up Gokoko again. The main reason for leveling them up at, the, at this stage, Gokoko anyway, is to evolve it. Room Borrow. We should get away with this one. Just? Yeah, if it misses as well. And then one damage. Good job. Alright, there we go. Skunk Cute's level 8. Not really bothered about Skunk Cute. It's all about Gokoko. And Poyal apparently is very common. They must have added it afterwards because there's no way I wouldn't have seen it and I really cannot remember fighting that thing. Oh, down goes Skunk Cute. It's a level 7, that's why. Poyal versus Poyal. Mine has 5 HP, though, so probably going to lose. Double Slash. Oh, we get an attack off, though. We get a chance. It's demotivated, too. What's the fastest one I've got? Let's go Splash. There we go. Level 5 Poyal wins. And on low HP, too. Gets 45 XP for it. Nice, nice. If we give Shromporo a go, we can get Gokoko up a level and then we'll uh, go advance the story, I promise. Use Fauna? Okay. Oh, critted. Nice. Yeah, it's just about using the fastest move we've got now. Which is Fauna, just. Oh, it's 5 XP away, Gokoko. One more fight, one more fight. Oh, damn it. Moved at the last second. It's Shromporo versus Shromporo. That one is a higher level, but it's also dumb. I mean, I'm, I'm also dumb, but not that dumb. Oh, come on. I thought that would do it. Are we poisoned? I don't think so. There we go. Gokoko's got its level. I'm happy. Let's now head back to the orphanage. Ah, oh, we've got a fast travel point as well. Cool. And a little shop. And break these boulders. We can get whatever's in here. There's a Synergy Core 3. Gikoko is going to get so, so much XP. 
by never fighting. Of course, he's also going to fight all the damn time, but sure. Alright, uh, an ether. If I had another Nexomon that I really cared about, that I really liked, I'd probably give, uh, give it the synergy cause, but I don't, so... Let's, uh, let's see what this trader has to offer. Are you a tamer? Did you know that there aren't any shops nearby? I'm just passing by, but I can sell you some basic items with a special rookie discount. Trust me, city shops are ripping you off. You got any, you got any traps, my friend? A Nexo trap. Yes, as many as you can give me, please, because I'm going to need them. I mean literally as many as you can give me as well. 35, tweet. See you later. Take care. You chump. Uh, 15 coins. Uh, let's see then. Inside we go. Hey, Nate. Over here. So you guys weren't eaten by the dragon, eh? What kind of question is that? Come on, we're gathering upstairs. Gotta go and talk to the mentor. What are you guarding? Dragons this, dragons that. They can't be that scary, can they? No, they're, ju they're just dragons, buddy. Dragons. Everyone knows dragons are scary. Hey, let's go and just check the other room. See if there's any items. I'm pretty sure there is. Go across here. Yeah, here we go. This is an item paradise. We've got potions. Elixirs. Ethers. And this guy isn't happy about us taking them. Oh, I see that someone's super eager to become a tamer. I'll have to restock the storage room. Leave some potions for your fellow adventurers, you inconsiderate. I mean, Nate. Okay. Outside we go. Go and talk to uh, the mentor. A dragon? What is the meaning of this, Emily? Isn't the guild supposed to keep track of every dragon? Yeah, stop slacking off. I couldn't... I could have been eaten. Wouldn't that be tragic? Dragons don't attack humans. Therefore, the only explanation is... A tyrant must be nearby. Oh, it's the woman who comes to us whenever when time freezes that woman hello is everyone all right <laughs> what, a, what an odd entrance you're late dina a tyrant yes that must be it dragons are programmed to hunt tyrants that's just how they work so there has to be one around this orphanage is no longer safe the nerve how can a tyrant hide in a place like this we're leaving I shall escort the kids to the city. And I will track this tyrant by myself. It couldn't have gone far. Shut your mouth, Nate. <laughs> you must have many questions, but now is not the time. You'll have to trust me, kid. Your fate and mine are one and the same now. For better or for worse. For richer or for poor... Nope, that's a different thing. Are you shaking, Nate? That was Dina, one of the highest ranking tamers at our disposal. If you work hard enough, you might become a Grandmaster too. You must be very confused, but our priority is to get you to safety of the city. And? Yeah, finally! I gotta pack my stuff before heading to the big city. Calm down, Ross. Hey, wait for me! I'll be outside. Please make haste. The day has finally come, I suppose. You're heading off to become a real tamer and protect this dying world of ours, Nate. Make no mistake, things may get a tad... uncomfortable. We live in dark times, which you will soon witness for yourself. What's this whole deal about the tyrants and dragons? Why were we attacked? Don't concern yourself with such matters right now. 
Just focus on reaching the safety of the city. You got it. Oh, we, we're back in control, apparently. I didn't realize. Uh, we got an anti-paralyze. We should check behind here and see if we... Oh, no, he doesn't want us to. What are you keeping in that room? There's nothing up there for you, Nate. But maybe one day, perhaps. Oh, that's super creepy. Oh, my God. I feel like that guy needs to be watched. All right, you received 25 coins. All right, head out to the big city, I guess. We'll have to find a medic first, I think. Because I assume our next one is still, yeah, pretty battered and bruised. I'm trying to correct myself in the frame here. Yeah, that's not too bad. All right. Oh, more exposition. Ross, come back here, you little... I'll be fine. I know how to reach the city. That's not the point, Ross. There's a tyrant nearby. I don't even know what a tyrant is. I'm not afraid of that stuff anyway. I'm not like Nate. Wuss. Darn it, come back here. Yeah, I guess we'll make our own way. Now, I happen to remember there's a medic over here, so we can go and heal. Yeah, beautiful. I believe this is maybe the way to the Dragon Islands or something, or I don't know. Found a Nexo Trap. What I need to do is go and find some Tamers to beat. There's a side quest here. Uh, during your travels, you might meet Tamers willing to buy Wild Nexomon. I know what you're thinking. Tamers nowadays are just incredibly lazy. Anyway, there's a Nexomon I'd like to buy if you happen to have it. Oh, you want a Rubby? Oh, I've got a Rubby. Can I... I, I don't know if I can access... How do I change my team to get you a ruby? Damn it. I want I want to sell you a ruby so bad. I don't want the thing. God damn. Should have kept it in my team, shouldn't I? Can we use the fast travel yet? This is a warp stone. It allows guild teams to teleport around the world. You don't have permission to use warp stones just yet. Because you suck. All right, let's head to the city. Do these... Nah, uh, they don't lock eyes with you unless you walk right next to them, apparently. Aha! You got a next one right there, don't you? That gives me permission to fight you, and if I win, you'll give me your money, punk. What? No, that doesn't make any sense. Sense. Oh, I forgot we still got Shromporo on. I guess we'll use it for a little bit. Until it gets destroyed by Claudia, it's confused as well. Still managed to get the double slash off pretty easily, though. Probably going to win. Yeah, Claudia's demotivated and can't attack, apparently. Let's go for Scratch. Oh, I hit myself in my confusion. Damn. Stop hitting yourself. Oh, there we go. It didn't hit itself. Claudia hit. Now I hit myself. Come on, Shromporo. I want you to get credit for this win. Nope, down you go. Uh, Let's go with Skunk Cute, because Ge Gekoko is going to keep getting XP anyway. Oh, and he, he changed... Or she changed her Nexomon too. I was going to say Pokemon. Uh, Bite is not effective. We should probably try Rock Knight. And they got a crit straight away. Of course they did. That's not effective either, but it's almost as effective and it costs half the stamina, so we'll go for it. Cloddy's back out to get destroyed by Rock Knight. Mosquiti's back out to get destroyed by Rock Knight. Nothing can beat Skunkute. All right. No, how, how did I lose? This was supposed to be easy money. Well, here's some friendly advice. Wild battles can yield a few coins, but you'll profit most from beating other tamers instead. Always be on the lookout for people to fight. I actually agree with you. Let's uh, heal up. And then we'll switch back in Gakoko. Because I actually want that Nexomon to get the most XP. 
Got an next trap. All good. What the hell are you doing, dude? Hey, kid, careful on that bridge, K. The guild can't afford to fix it up. All the money goes to Param's tall walls, I guess. Oh, there's another item down here. A peach. Sure. Yeah, this bridge is screwed the hell up. Uh, I came all the way from Lateria just to find a specific Nexomon, but I've had no luck. Hey, buddy, if you could help me out, I'd be happy to repay you for a v uh, with a very rare item. So, do we have a deal? What do you want? A Cruff. Cruff is pretty cool. Um, if I get a Cruff, I'm keeping it. If I get two Cruffs, you can have one. <laughs> that, look at that. That's so damn dangerous. There is no way in a million years I would do that. That is terrifying. Yeah, the extinction part of the game's title, yep. Yeah. Fair enough. All right, Amelie's here anyway. Thank goodness. There you are, Nate. You're remarkably impatient. Your is the cor the incorrect your. Uh, oh, no, it isn't. Sorry, I thought she was calling me impatient. I apologize. Your remarkably impatient friends went on ahead. The capital is to the north. Our guild is at the heart of the city. Please don't deviate from our destination. The ki you kids really underestimate the predicament of our world. See ya. I'm going this way. What do you want? You've got a crazy hat. You must have a good story. This road leads to the Outlands. Mad Nexamon bandits and tyrants wreak havoc over there. You should stay safe, kid. Go to Paramon. You'll be fine. You can't tell me that. <laughs> Amelie literally just told us not to go there. But sure. What could possibly go wrong? Let's do it. What could possibly go wrong is Streamlabs decides it doesn't want to work anymore. It just crashed temporarily. I think we're good. Out into the Outlands we go, then. I'm glad it let us do it. I really didn't think it would. I thought it'd just go, no, 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 no. You're not going out there. You're not going out there right now. But no, it was, it was fine with it, apparently. The Outlands. We're probably going to get messed up, aren't we? This trainer that stood in front of uh, this little bit here with the swords over his head there, he was one I farmed a hell of a lot when I was playing this game first time around. grab whatever's in the mushroom if we can in fact let's first of all heal up i don't know if we needed healing up but it's free and it's right there we might as well grab some more quests i'm not reading any of this stuff just tell me what the quest is and i'll do it uh a child has run away from param she could be anywhere in the outlands find her i guess and we'll get an item an extra trap we've got loads of those now yeah, whatever this is. A potion. And then... Ever heard about elemental whistles? Hmm? Whistles increase your capture chance when facing Nexomon of a certain type. And you can even stack the whistles. All right, we'll... Uh, we'll... I want that whistle, but I don't have 300 coins. I spend it all on Nexomon, buddy. On Nexo traps, rather. Oh, he meets eyes. He meets eyes from a bit further. Hey, you, fight me. What? Why? We're guild tamers. We've got to make sure that our members are in shape. Now, show me what you got, kid. This guy's aggressive. And he's got a ninja. Don't know what that is, but it sounds cool. It's a dog ninja, I think. In fact, I think that's the starter choice for normal types. It's got ultra rare under the name. Maybe they've made starter Pokemon more diff... Uh, starter Nexomon more difficult to catch now. Out in the wild. I hope they haven't, because I really liked the fact that you could just get them anyway. Still, Gokoko best one, without a doubt. Surely that's a flying type that I can mess up with electric moves, but no, no. I'm going to swap out so we don't lose all that uh, beautiful, glorious XP. Oh, I'm getting pummeled here. I'm, we should win. Oh my god, it got a crit as well. We should win. I don't know if we will win. So, 
Uh, if I remember correctly as well, there was a completely exploitable move in the last version of the game. In the version of the game I played anyway. Uh, where you... There was a move that meant you couldn't take fatal damage next turn. Or within the next three turns I, it was. So as long as you had enough uh, stamina to use it, you could just use it over and over again and never lose a fight. And I did that a lot. Alright, well we won that one. And I think Trumporo actually gained a level. Gikoko is pretty close. I think he gained a new skill as well. Fair enough. You certainly fit to be a guild tamer. All right, carry on with your business, Nate. When did I tell you my name? Feel up. Gather whatever the hell this is. An ocean shard. See what this person wants. Wants to give us five anti-freeze for uh, 150. I'll take the trade. Why not? All right, we're not going there right now anyway. We're going to go... Grab whatever this item is, and then we're going to go back to the city. It's an orange, because of course it is. We might as well see what's out here. See if we can catch something. We got a griff. I'll try and catch a griff. Eight more damage. Uh, if we're not careful, we're going to lose to the griff. I'm stunned as well. There we go. We lost to the griff. I, I don't want... To beat the Griff, I want to catch the Griff, but it is surprisingly strong. It also it is also weary, and it does not have much stamina left, so go for it. We've got 40 of these things now anyway, so we can afford to waste a few if, uh, if we need to. There we go. Oh, damn it. Come on, Griff. You're so tired. You want to you wanna get in the Nexo Trap. It's nice and comfy in there. There we go. Surely. There, beautiful. Griff was caught. Congratulations, you caught Griff. With twice the curiosity and bravery of other Nexomon, this feline has the courage of a true king. That's a feline? I, I suppose. Oh, uh, yeah. Okay. Uh, Party. Get rid of Woozy. I still haven't found a second Nexomon that I really want to keep yet. And this ain't it. Mirn. In fact, I'm going to flee because I only want to level up Gikoko and he's fainted. So let's go to the sea. I wonder if Amelie will be mad that we didn't go straight there. Another fight. I love it. Ah, ah. You there. Where do you think you're going, pal? Well, I came back to fight you. Uh, this is my special spot to catch and train Nexomon. There's no room for both of us. So go find your own. People are mean. All right, we got Yummo. I don't think I ever saw Yummo, and I want it. I want that. It's basically a poor man Snorlax, and I love it. Oh, it's effective against me, too. I'm effective against it. We need to be quicker, though. I think we can take one more hit from it. Oh, it missed anyway. Beautiful. Oh, oh, we got the crit. Nice, nice. We should be good against Say. Because we are effective against it. Let's go with Pulse Storm. Be a bit quicker off the mark. Mm, is it, we need a crit. We didn't get it. Oh. Oh, it only hit us with a two. Beautiful. Yokoko's going to get full XP. Easily go up a level. 85. Beautiful. Coco level 9. Ah! Tisk. Okay, I will let you use my special spot, but for a limited time only. Don't tell anyone about it, alright? That could be misconstrued. You might want to change the way you're wording that. Alright, up to Param we go. So, this is Param. It's much bigger than I thought. Whoa, so many tamers. This place is the real deal. <laughs> yeah. There we go. Capital city of Aram. Whoa. 
welcome to Param, the ultimate bastion of the human domain. Amid the chaos, violence and decay that spreads throughout the world, Param stands tall and proud against all odds. Once you become guild members, all your efforts and skills will be directed towards pre preserving this peace. Take a good look around. This is what you'll be fighting for from now on. Okay, that's a healing center. Tamers like you can use it to restore their party for free. There's also a storage service where you can deposit and withdraw Nexamon. Uh, that's the shop. That's a general store over here. You can purchase various items to aid you on your quests. Their goods and prices may vary over time, so check it out often. They also sell Nexo traps to catch wild Nexamon. There are many types of Nexo. Oh yeah, you can get one specific for types. Uh, but you can learn about that on your own. Well, thanks. To the east is the airship hangar. Many tamers use it to reach the, the Drake Isles, the alleged birthplace of the dragons. Feel free to check it out sometime. It's quite the view. Uh, the citizens of Param are especially kind towards guild members. If you have time to spare, pay them a visit. Civilians often have special jobs for tamers like you. To the west is the Research District. Our scientists have spent a lifetime trying to unlock the full potential of our Nexamon so that we may survive. You may be newbies, but it's worth checking out. We're not going to do all this right now. And finally, to the north, at the heart of the capital lies the Tamer's Guild. There's so much to see, so much to do. We have to check out the Drake Isles. We could capture our very own dragon. I'm tired of hearing about dragons. Did you know we can synthesize cores which enhance our Nexamon in the research district? You are such a nerd. One step at a time, kids. Come with me to the guild. You'll receive your bronze badges, as well as your first tamer job. I think we'll do the first tamer job instead of any other crap right now. To the guild we go. Yeah, the game's like, you could go and do some other stuff, but go to the guild, idiot. And I think on this occasion, I'm actually going to follow its advice. Yeah, 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 I know what you do. You nurse Joy. I mean, nurse robot. Right, beautiful. Uh, we could get Ruby out and go... Get Ruby out. And go and trade it away, but I don't feel like that's worth it. I really want to get a Cruff, though, and I don't want to give it away. I want to keep it. The Tamer's Guild. All right, we'll, uh, we'll head in. Pretty crowded in here. We wouldn't stand a chance fighting against the tyrants otherwise. I still don't know what a tyrant is. Let's go and get our badges. Come on. Oh, it's you. The kids Emily told me about. Welcome to the guild. I'm the regional administrator. Ugh. Let's see now. Anyone with a Nexamon companion is entitled to become a bronze tamer. Our standards are pretty low, I guess. Are you always like this? Take this badge and carry it with pride. Congratulations. Um, hey, what, what are you doing? People are staring. Come back. Come on, please. Okay, don't do that ever again, Nate. Anyway, as guild tamers, I shall assign a fitting task to each of you. We're not going to work together. Some difficult missions require teamwork, but bronze tamers are given simpler jobs. 
Work hard and you might acquire the superior silver badge or gold badge. For now, come to me when you're ready for your first assignment. We'll do that right now. I think that's the way to go, get an assignment. Tutorial! Characters with a star on their heads have something important to tell you. It's usually a quest. So make sure to chat with those characters. Now go and speak with the administrator. You got it, game. We, uh, we don't need to read all this crap. Just give me the task. Just give me the task. Oh, I, actually, we will read this. She's calling us losers. I mean, these tamers are Nate and Coco. They'll take on your job request. Are you serious? I just saw them getting their badges five minutes ago. Hmm. She's got a point there. The entire lake was frozen. There's a bunch of rabid Nexamon. Don't give me someone you only just hired. This is a menial task. You need to trust Nate, please. Okay, fine. I'll take your rookie tamer, but don't say I didn't warn you when both of us get stuck under that lake. Hey, newbie. Meet me outside the city at once. Chop, chop. Okay, you got it. It's going to give us 500 coins. Yeah, I'll go and do that straight away. Ahem. That brat is a Nexamite miner. The lake she normally works at has unexpectedly frozen over and hostile Nexamon have been sighted nearby for one reason or another. You just need to escort her while she does her job, Nate. That's all there is to it. Sounds simple enough. We might even find some cool Nexamon around that lake. Yeah, that's the spirit. Not bad for your very first assignment, right? I can take you outside the city right now, or you may explore Param a bit more if you'd like. What should we do, Nate? Leave the city. We're going. We're doing the mission. Doing the mission straight away. All right, let's get going then. Oh, really? She just drops me off here. I see. I'm all right with that. There we go. Rookie, what took you so long? Are you ready? Is your party healed? Do you have any items? Gosh, I feel like I'm the one escorting you. A bronze tamer. Oh, I'm ready. Let's do it. Oh yeah, we'll see about that. Come on, I'll show you the way to the lake. Because I bet you haven't got the faintest idea how to get there. You're correct. Alright, off we go. All the way down to the bottom of here, we might... Yeah, we'll go and fight some trainers. While we're here. Chances are there'll be a crystal along the way to heal us if we need it. Might as well try and gather the items. See what this person wants. It's a trade. Three next traps, 250 coins and a protection core. Sure, you got it. That's a, that's a good deal. I forget what the protection core does. I think it gives you increased defense. Give it to Kokoko. Boost defense stat by 4%. That's, that doesn't sound much, but it might be useful. I don't know. Uh, we've got a Thunder Shard. We'll see what you want. Well, you want to fight. We'll see if you're any good. She won't be. We got this. All right, we're up against Lumby. I've seen that thing before. This is where we could do with a water next on, but we don't have one, so... He keeps getting crits as well. Stop getting crits. That's not cool. Oh, then then I got one, so it's okay. Uh, <laughs> that thing's just called Basil. Basil? Okay. I like that. It's a good name. Not for that, but, you know, sure. It's puzzled now as well. All right, let's use Lightning Roar. Can we finish it off with a Pulse Storm on now? Yes, just. And Kikoko gets another level. Beautiful. We might just be able to get a level up this... This, uh... This stream? Not a level up in it. A, uh... Oh, balls. That's bad news. I meant a evolution. I don't know now, though. Kikoko is probably going to take a big hit here. We did learn a new move, which is Pommel. Probably not much use against Ghost-type. We should also probably swap it out now. 
Skunk U is still my second best Nexamon, which sucks. Oh, and you decided that you didn't want to use that anymore. Great. Oh, I shouldn't be using Bite against these things. Are rock moves? Rock moves are still going to be crap, aren't they? No, they're okay, apparently. Got a crit for a seven. Might be able to deal with them both with just Skunk U. Hopefully that's not more than a seven, and it is. I'll go with Griff. Griff's probably my second favorite Nexamon at the moment. It's still not going to stay in the team very long, but sure. Oh, <laughs> one HP. And we're sick now. God damn it. All right. We're going to have to go heal. And since I can't be bothered to go heal, we're just going to take that. That works. We got a Phantom Shard. There must be more Tamers down here for us to fight. Uh, there must be one across here. But before that, we'll catch Larkito if we can. I mean, it's basically just a mosquito. Oh, it died. Damn it. Well, we got some XP. Good enough. Good enough. I thought there was another tamer over here for us to fight. Damn it. All right, there'll be one on the next screen. That'll be fine. Oh, no, Videl's being attacked instead. Don't move. Eh? No questions. Hand over all your Nexamite. I dare you to take another step, losers. Haha! -ha, what? You mean something like this? What you gonna do now, little gut? Yeah, that seems reasonable. I smash rocks for a living. I'm going to the lake. Are you guys... Okay. Uh, uh. Aha, gotcha. Now that the biggest threat is gone, you will give us all your coin. All according to plan. Yes. You guys make me sad. All right, let's fight him. I don't think there's double battles in this thing. Yeah. So we're just going to fight him normally. Go for pummel now as well. We've got a move we can actually use against electric types. And it's going to be pretty damn strong. Yeah, while he's getting not effective, we're getting a level 11 criticals. All right. Uh, Scaratic. Unfortunately, it does use a lot of stamina, and we're going to be out very soon. We may have to change next one on here. Yeah. Skunk is pretty good for this anyway. Oh, it was until he brought out a damn fire type. We both got the crit. Let's go for bite instead. He may just win this. I don't think so. Oh, we're burning. There it goes. That apparently triggers the turn it does it as well, which sucks. Throw out Griff. Which one of these is faster? Bite by a mile. Didn't matter. He still got his attack off. Yeah, we're not faster than any of these guys, but hey, we're getting them. Griff is taking the hits, but he's getting the last hit on those guys, so he should get a load of XP. Yeah. Still, Coco got more, and he's level 11 now. I love it. Oh, ho, ho, ho. And then they just vanish. Whoa, where did they go? We should tell Amelie about this after we're done helping Videl. You got it. That's where the frozen lake must be. Let's go. Oh, we got an experience core. Uh, I guess that probably isn't going to be useful in combination with Synergy. But for the time being, XP core is going to be great. We might as well give the 
protection core to Griff. I think I'm probably going to train that up a little bit. It's the next one I most want to keep in the party. Mine shard. Let's use the healing rock here. Go and fight this tamer. Hello, fellow tamer. Are you heading to Lateria as well? Apparently those folks really hate guild tamers. Latarians will bully both of us for sure. How about we train a bit together? Gotta be ready to face those thugs. Yeah, why not? Oh, bad choice. A water Nexamon, a Hydrip. Oh, critical two. That's cute. And goodbye, Hydrip. Oh, another one, a Snabel. Some of the names in this thing are pretty weird. And I'm okay with it when I can destroy them as easy as this. They keep getting crits on me as well, and it does not matter. Yeah, let's get Kokoko evolved. That's my goal for this stream now. I don't think there's any more tamers up there. And maybe one over to the left. Yeah, there is. And he looks like a douchebag too, so I'm going to enjoy this. Uh, how cute. Are you enjoying yourself, kid? Prancing about, catching random Nexamon and stuff? This ain't a game, bud. Seems like a game. Uh, if you're going to be a guild tamer, you got to take this more seriously. I'm going to kick your ass. Unfortunately, that's a rock Nexamon. So I'm going to kick your ass with another Nexamon. Screw you. Now, let's see. Palm Flurry. Yeah, that seems pretty strong. Oh, damn it. One HP again. He's at least stunned. Go for bite. Should do one, right? And then we're up against goatees. I I want that. That one looks awesome. Get me a goatees. There we go. Kokoko's close to level 12. I'll take it. I'll take it. Looks like you do take this seriously. Alrighty. Um, Nate, was it? You're good, I guess, but try to do other things like quests to help people in need. Yep, it's not just about catching and training Nexamon, mate. Guild tamers do a lot more than that. You stand around all day calling people douchebags. I'm not taking advice from you. Looks like there's a cave there that we can explore. I don't know if we can just yet. We probably don't have the right... Uh, we don't meet the requirements yet. Don't even bother, kiddo. I already tried using a fire-type Nexamon to burn these plants, but it wasn't enough. We'll need to think of something else to unblock the entrance. Oh, he's asleep. Fair enough. At least we got two blazing shards. Then we'll head out. Down here. I think this is where Videl went. Yeah. Would love to be able to use that warp stone. The frozen lake. All right, put me back in control. Nice. Got an item, which is an anti-bind. Got a blazing shard. Don't want to go up to Videl just yet. I want to fight some trainers or whatever, some tamers. Anti-burn. Mind shard. All cool. Oh, damn it. We can't go that way. Will it not let me get round until I've talked to Videl? No, it will. Sweet. Ocean Shard. Let's fight this guy. I think Gokoko's got enough HP to do that, right? Just about. Probably. Hopefully. A Tesling. Pummel. I only did 10. That's not great. Fortunately, he only does 4 or 3. We do only have 15 stamina left, though. So when we use this Pummel, we're going to be on 0. Now, there is a mechanic for this. I believe, yeah, it just increases by 10 every turn. That's not going to be enough for me right now, so we're going to have to switch. Skunk Cute will do a job. With Rock Knight. Yeah, one more of those and we're good. Perfect. Yokoko's level 12. I don't know what level it evolves at. I think it's probably going to be 16, maybe. 
if it's uh, copying uh, another game that shall remain nameless, I think it'll probably be 16. Look at this mess. There's no reason for this place to be frozen. So we just have to escort you inside? I don't feel any safer with a bronze tamer, but whatever. Now, do you see that fella over there? Yep. That's a traveling merchant. You'll see them every now and then on your adventures. They're usually more expensive than stores in the city, but at the same time, they can offer wares that aren't available anywhere else. Check them out if you've got spare time and coin, I guess. Why do I have to teach you this stuff? Anyway. Come in when you're ready. I need to get to work. Let's see what the... Salesperson has. Oh, get on with it. Let's see, merchant isn't offering any of that. Oh man, a fire next trap costs 430 here. We're not bothering with that crap. But that's all they're selling. Yeah. Not worth it. Not worth it. You do get quite a few anyway as the game goes on. You get specific types of Nexo trap, so it's really not profitable at the moment to be buying those. Uh, the last thing I need is to end up stuck with a bronze tamer and his weird cat. Yeah, and these are ice things. So this is a little puzzle. Not too hard, especially if you want the, the item, I suppose it makes it a tiny bit harder. And I do want the item. Do we see what's in here? What Nexomon are actually in here? Oh, we've got a Force Fant. Which is no match for us. Unfortunately, I don't want to kill it. I want to catch it, but I think this might kill it. Yep. Still, it's good XP. Good XP. Solve the puzzle. A bloopish. Again, we're going to kill it, even though I want to catch it. I should probably start with Pulse Storm. Yeah, two Pulse Storms, and it should have been down to one HP on that basis, but hey. Kikoko's getting good XP. Stone Shard. What's over to the right? Anything useful? Hmm. How are we going to make this one work? I'm just dumb, aren't I? I can't figure this one out. Uh, no, not like that. Like this. There we go. Got it. I genuinely am dumb. Grab the chest, which is a water whistle. I don't think you need to equip these. I think it just makes catching water next to them on easier. And since that's all we're coming across down here with the blub blub, we'll do it. I'm going to catch this thing. Yeah, perfect. Right, we don't have any great Nexa traps, but look, we've got the whistle, which I think is a plus 3% at the bottom there. Making it a bit easier to get. And it's very low health. Yeah, nice. Now, as much as I want that in the party, it is zero health effectively. So we're going to send it to storage because I think we might need health for this bit coming up. Anyway, we're going to go back through and try and find Videl. Oh, I thought I was going to get Nexum on there. Oh, we're down here, aren't we? Oh, good. A big ice puzzle for an idiot like me. Perfect. I don't think there's anything to get on the way here, is there? So I might as well just try and get to the end if I can. Which I can't. We can figure this out. We got this. That was wrong. Hmm. Yeah, because being in that corner doesn't do me any good, does it? Damn. Go down here. This is what I did last time. That's dumb. See, this seems like a decent place to be, but then I go back and it's just over here. Oh, yeah, this is looking good. Think I get it? Perfect. 
I'm going to puke. Why can we only move in four directions? Eh, why not? Let's see what else we got down here. A sound. Oh, it's got speaker ears. I like that one. It's still going to kill it. Because it's got glorious XP inside. Oh, it's on one HP. I've got to try and catch it, right? One HP. What kind of animal doesn't catch on one HP when it's a new Nexamon? Ah! One HP! What are you doing to me? There we go. We got it. We got it. I really thought it was going to break free again. Uh, congratulations, you caught Sounce, a very sensitive Nexomon with the ability to hear from very long distances away. Its special connection with the wind makes it an excellent weather forecaster. Going to storage. It's got one HP. We're not using it. Oh, wow. I walked into that. It's another Sounce. You know what? Let's deal with it. And then we'll switch out Gikoko, I think, for another next mon. Team. Let's see, Skunk Cute, you can go in. I don't know why I'm using you instead of Griff, but I am. Is that a hole there? Can we go in here? No, it looked like it. These look like little caves you can go in, but they're absolutely not. There. There it is. Well, I have to admit that things went rather smoothly after all. You know what, Nate? You're not so bad. I spoke too soon. I hate the two of you. E <laughs> I'm not going to commit to that. Videl? Oh, jeez. If Emily finds out about this, she's not going to pay us. That is the main concern, definitely. Uh, we we shouldn't panic just yet. If we get our story straight, we can still change our names and start new lives far away from the city. We must rescue her. I'm going to be a good guy. All right, all right. I've got a rope we can use to get down there. We better hurry up, though. No, I want to get the... I want to get the... Oh. oh. Apparently, this ice I can walk on for some reason. Sure, why not? Can I mine that? That looks mineable. But it's not. Alright, we uh, actually can heal up down here. So I'm gonna I'm gonna go for that. We heal up, we can put good cocoa back in charge. Gather everything down here and follow Videl. Found a strawberry cake. I love it. Down this way? I guess so. Oh, we're back to slipping and sliding on the ice. There's nothing up top for us, I don't think, for any reason to go up there. So I guess we'll carry on into the story trigger. Oh, Videl's been frozen. Shit. Hey, that's Videl, but who did this to her? I've got a bad feeling, Nate. We should leave and ask for help. Oh, you ain't going anywhere. It's a little lonely in this cavern. Stay a little longer, kitty. Oh, that wasn't as scary as I thought it was going to be. Huh. Hey, Nate. That's just a girl. We have nothing to fear. Oh. Well, well, well. Ain't this quite the jackpot? One, two, three poor souls. Exactly what I needed. With this many hostages, the guild will think twice before coming after me and Nivalis. Nivalis? That's a tyrant, Nate. That's right. My Nivalis is invincible, or is the invincible tyrant of Frost. The tamers of the guild have been chasing us to no end, but now I have the upper hand thanks to you. We can't win against the tyrant, Nate. We need to get out of here. Come on. Now we can. We can win. Or we can try. At least we can try. We're gonna have to try. 
Yeah. Haha, <laughs> you scrubs for real? Did you just try to run away? What about your friend, punks? And you call yourself tamers of the guild. So sad. This is this is the end. Now nah, we got this. Oh, it's a water type as well. Come on, Kokoko, you've got this. Doesn't even do that much damage. We do 11. Does 7 want to crit? Doing the maths, it will win at this rate. But not if I'm careful. Oh, I almost wasn't careful. In fact, I wasn't careful. I got very lucky. Potion it is. I'm an annoying trainer. Tamer. Stop hitting me. I'm going to have to use another damn potion. Oh, God damn it, I am as well. If I could guarantee going first and getting a 12, I'd be good, but I can't and I won't go first, so. Twelve, there it is. Be a tyrant straight away, no problem. 301 XP, beautiful. The Coco must be relatively close to evolving. Huh, I knew this would happen. Nivalis is still exhausted from that other fight. We must recover before it's too late. You've got a tyrant and I've got a lizard. Who cares if it's tired? It's like Real Madrid playing against my six aside team and going, oh, we're, we're knackered though. So we lost because we're tired. Cowering in a dark and cold cavern, are we? A most fitting tomb to end your sad story. Bonnie, battle analysis. Yes, sir, on my way. By graphing the Valis' stats, taking environmental variables into account and carrying the two, conclusion... You'll kick her butt, sir. Then let's do that. Edward? How do you keep on finding me? Well, you did freeze an entire lake. Oh yeah, maybe that's it. Oh, and look, Videl's back. Uh, what just happened? Who are you? Behind me, please. What the heck is that thing? Now then. So this is where you and your tyrants hold up after our last encounter. Let's end it here and now, Atlanta. The guild wants a word with you. Grr. Grr. Nivalis, we're retreating. Come on. Sir, sir, they're getting away. That's fine, Bonnie. Let them go. Um, that thing eats people? Ah, Nate, yes. You're one of the guild's newest tamers. Mm. Sending a bronze tamer to this place was an unfortunate oversight on Amelie's part. I knew it! I told you! You've done a fine job, though. There's plenty to talk about, but let me get you out of this place first. Thank you. By the way, it's a million degrees in this office right now. What in the world was that thing? Nivalis is what most people call a tyrant. Tyrants are a very peculiar peculiar breed of Nexamon. You must avoid them and their masters no matter what. You were lucky that Nivalis was so weak. And who are you guys? Sir Edward is one of the guild's grandmaster tamers, just like Dina. We were hunting down Atlanta and her nefarious tyrant. I'm sorry that you had to go through that, Nate. Please, return to the guild and tell Amelie everything. Oh, you bet I'm going to tell her everything. Ah, there's something I'd like you to have. It's normally a privilege of silver tamers, but you've earned it. Yay, we get fast travel. Love it. That is what we call a warp stone. The guild has built monoliths like this all over the world to quickly deploy advanced tra uh, tamers. I'm, I'm doing it even when it's written down now. I'm granting you permission to use the guild's warp stones. You can only use warp stones that you have registered, though. That red warp stone over there, touch it to add this location to your network. It'll come in handy. The capital city has a warp stone. This is already activated for you, so you can go there immediately. Always keep an eye out for red warp stones to register. There's one back at the orphanage, which isn't registered, apparently, then. Farewell, and try not to worry about the tyrants. As a bronze tamer, they are not your concern. 
Once you return to the guild, your quest will be completed and you'll receive your reward. All right, plan for the rest of the stream. We go back to the guild, we complete the quest, and then we try and evolve Gikoko. And then I call it for the day, I think. Hmm. I've heard that tyrants are fighting each other or something. They have like a war going on, you know? And what are they fighting for? Beats me. Why do I have to teach you this stuff? You guys should go back to the guild with that warp thingy. Get stronger and I might hire you again. Please don't. Alrighty then. We will go back to the guild, complete this quest, and then like I say, we'll try and evolve Gikoko and call it for the day. Or the night at this stage. Is it nine o'clock? Yeah. Alright, Param City we go. And hope that the game loads. It does. Beautiful. Let's heal up. I assume we need it. I assume we didn't get automatically healed. No, we did not. Although, to be fair, we've still got very high health to say we just fought a tyrant. Uh, let's head back to the guild. What do you want, by the way? Just gonna skip your dialogue. A lady has asked us to clean up the city of Param. I mean, I'll do it. Uh, but I'm not I'm not keen on it. I don't know what I get for it either. We'll just keep getting piles of garbage. I don't know how many she wants either. It seems relatively easy to find it, so we'll just do it quickly. Pile of garbage. Pile of garbage. I think they're all going to be on this screen, right? I don't need to go anywhere. Pile of garbage. Is five enough for you? How many do you want? Twelve? God damn. All right. I think we're probably going to have to go on other screens to get that, and I can't be bothered right now. I haven't been said we do have seven, I think, now. That's quite a decent number. Eight? We can do this. We can totally do this. I don't know what the reward is either. I'm just doing it because I can. Apparently that isn't steps you can go down. But these are. Let's go on the next screen and see if we can find some more garbage. If these things are garbage, it proves that, yeah, we needed to go elsewhere. Nine, I think. Ten. So this next one should be 11, and then we need one more. Oh, that's the next trap. Okay, we're on 10 still. Anything more this way? We might have gone too far. It might only be one screen out each way. I doubt it's going to be up here. Maybe over here? No, it's, it's one screen out each way, isn't it? We'll totally check out the other direction here just to be safe, but I'm pretty sure. Seen any items? I'm seeing a chest, so we'll go get it. A cosmic charm. I don't know what that does. Uh, it said that this improves the chance of finding very peculiar Nectamon. Cool. I'm okay with that. I like, by the way, that I had a plan for the last bit of the stream, and I just immediately bailed on it when I found that I could pick up garbage. For an old lady. I don't know why I did that, but I totally did. Let's go do some more of it. Garbage, please. All right, one more. It's got to be in that box down there, right? Wait, can I even go down there? Aha! All right, well, something else is in the box then, I guess. And this tree stump. Nope, more piles of garbage. We might have 13, or maybe I've miscounted. We've definitely got more than 12. Either way, give me my reward, old lady. Where are you? There you are. This better be worth it. 
Oh, it's a vault key. I think that's very much worth it, actually, if I remember correctly. It looks the same. I love it. I think that is a main quest, then, that we had to do at some stage. We didn't have to do it right then, but hey. Get it done with. Where's Emily? Do we have to talk to Emily or we talk to the administrator, I guess? Oh, and she just transforms or teleports us to Emily. Well done, Nate. I expected nothing less from you. This is your reward for successfully protecting your client. 500 coins, a perfect berry, blazing shard, notion shard. I love it. Not much. But you'll get far more interesting things as you take on harder quests. Can we talk about, you know, the that thing that tried to eat us? Uh, fine. I suppose you've earned a lesson about the tyrants. This is going to be a proper cutscene. Nope. Nay, as we speak, the Nexomon of our world are waging a war among themselves. They're trying to replace the previous king of monsters, Omnicron, a powerful creature that was slain millennia ago. For centuries, almost every Nexomon has been competing to be acknowledged as the new king, see? Such is the reason our world is so miserable. We are caught in the middle of a ridiculous power struggle among monsters. Hold on. A thousand years? How come they haven't found a new king yet? What's taking so long? That's the thing. Nobody knows. And at this rate, humans might not survive to see the end of this war. However, a breed of exceptional Nexomon has started to appear in recent decades. We call them Tyrants. In many ways, their power and intelligence resemble Omnicrons, even if just a little. Nivalis is one of them. The Tyrants are an ill omen. It is likely that one of those psychotic beasts will eventually become the next king. Okay. That's the gist of it. Savage Nexomon annihilating each other, crushing hopeless humans in the process. Don't be concerned about such matters. <laughs> Just yet, Nate. I have a very important job for you, so please focus. Okay, I mean, I'll try. Ah, the Mentor's here. Hello, Nate. I have a rather pressing request. Hey, what's up? <laughs> I'll get to the point. The orphanage is under attack. What? Why? Their intentions don't matter, lad. They must be stopped either way. This may be, may be a dangerous mission. You'll need to team up with both Ross and Nora. There shouldn't be any issues if the three of you work together. Teamwork, really? Alright, you know what? We'll go and do that because that probably is the best way to get enough XP for Gikoko. Probably. Okay, all right, all right, all right. I assume if we just head back to the orphanage, that's probably the fastest way to do this thing. And then we can activate the warp stone as well. I don't know why that isn't automatically uh, activated. Because it's like our home warp stone, but hey, fine, whatever. Also, I'm going to take on this fight again. She should have trained up now. Hey, Nate. I think it's time I kick you off my turf. This is my special spot to find rare next money. You should find your own already, so get going. Yeah, she should get stronger, I think, uh, as you battle her. You, you can't just battle her over and over again at her old strength. At, at least I think that's the way it works. Yomo seems pretty not great at the moment, to tell you the truth. Still actually doing a fair amount of damage because it's effective and it's getting damn crits on me all the time. Not say, though. He's not going to... He's not going to worry me. There we go. Level 14. Beautiful. Beautiful. Thought that might just be enough to evolve, but no, apparently not. I think it is still called evolving in this game. I think. I haven't found a Cruff yet. I'm sorry. Who the hell are you? This land is nothing like mine. Where are you from? I come from the Drake Isles. There's nothing but a little visit. My home is full of dragons who find great joy in hunting tyrants. That's the reason my people live in relative peace. Come visit us when you get the chance, lad. You'd like it. Sure, sounds good. Alright. 
Let's heal up Gakoko. Those things grow back fast enough that I can do it anytime I pass them, basically, I think. Hey, hey, Nate, remember me? I'm looking for a rematch, punk. I'm going to get my money back. I'm not worried. Not when you've got Claudie on your team. Oh, it's confused me, though. Don't hurt yourself. Ah, oh, you're an idiot. Oh, no, you didn't do it. Claudie attacked first. The text is a little bit more out of the way than it is in Pokemon, so you can't quite tell what's going on all the time, but it's fine. Damn it. And that's effective against us, too. Now we're provoked. I don't know what that means. I don't know what that status effect does. Seemed to work. Seemed okay. Yeah, you suck. Equally, I am gonna just change. Nah, you know what? We're gonna we're gonna use a potion because I don't know what's around this corner. We're also gonna use an ether. Basically, heals entirely because I think we might get sucked into story when we go around the corner. Yeah. What's the point of sending all four of us? I can handle this by myself. And why is Coco here? Nate is a mute. Do you really want him negotiating with the kidnappers? Negotiate? Don't make me laugh. I'm just going to knock down the front door and beat him up. Calm down. Our priority is to get the hostages out. We also need to figure out their intentions. Attacking an orphanage doesn't make a lot of sense. Let's hurry up then. This could be our promotion to Silver Tamers. All right, but I need to activate that Whoopster, though. No. Whoopster. Oh, and there we go. Sweet. So now we can get back to the uh, the orphanage real quick if we need to. Don't know why we need to, really, but... Probably good to have it active. Uh, let's see. Let's see. I guess in here. Probably the main thing, right? Where the kids were. Oh, is it these dudes again? Okay. No, it's not you. What about you? Nah, wrong kid. Ugh, curses, you're not the right one either. I can't believe my luck. We're running out of time. My lord will not be pleased. Who goes there? Hey, a guild tamer? They're already on the way? Yeah, we're on the way. Oh, this is a very different battle arena. And unfortunately, that's an annoying Nexamon for them to have. It's effective against me, and I'm not effective against it. Well, Pummel, I guess. Ooh, don't poison me. Don't poison me. Uh, that, that was silly. All right, here comes Scolder then. We should be able to finish it with a Pulse Storm, I reckon. Yeah, perfect. We should be able to finish this with a Pulse... Oh, no! My voice cracked. I was so annoyed. Don't hit me for 12. Thank you. All right. We're going to change out. I'm going to go for Griff. It's level 8. It should be able to deal with this, right? If it keeps missing, we're all, we're all good. I know it's not the right type for it either, but it's fine. Okay. Palm Flurry is the way to go. There it is. Yokoko not quite up to level 15, but it's almost there. Oh, right, save the kids. You saved us. You saved us. That was amazing. Those guys are looking for a specific kid. You got to stop them. A specific kid? That's strange. We should find them before they do. I think it's probably us, right? All right. Hmm. It seems like there are still some hostages around here. Let's keep looking. Sure. Uh, we need to heal up, though, and I don't think any of those rocks are going to be inside, are they? There we go. We'll just... Uh, Gikoko is going to be the main here. Get up to level 16 this way. It's a great idea. Here comes Ross. He's probably screwing things up as we speak. Come over here, coward. You can't just break into my home like that. You're wasting my time. I have to find the target for my lord. And fight me. Come on. <laughs> Can I just step in? 
He's afraid of a bronze tamer. Good point. I don't know why it's not Ross that gets to fight him. It's going to be me, but that's okay. Ooh. Not ideal. He's got a rock type. Or an earth type. Rock type. I don't know. But we'll take it. Then it's Leaf, which is also bad for me. Very bad. Especially if he keeps getting damn crits. What the hell? I have to swap out. Griff, you're in again. Even though Stinger would actually be better. All right, let's go speed. This one. That'll do. That'll do, Griff. That'll do. All right. Almost there. Almost there. You know what? We haven't actually saved yet, have we? <gasps> you go, go. It's evolving. Come on. All right, what we got? We got Camelevo. Camelevo. Awesome. <laughs> that was a bit anticlimactic. But hey, you know what? I think we'll just finish off defeating these hostages and then we'll call the stream. We might also save for safety in a minute. Nah, we'll wait until the end of the stream. It's fine. There's more hostages. Let's keep looking. All right. Still going to have to heal Camelevo, Camelevo, Kama, Kama, Kazi. I don't know why that came out. <laughs> Whatever it is. We're going to have to heal it. Because it is our only strong Nexamon. Now, one thing I wonder is whether Nexamon... Because I think Tamers scale with you. So the higher your level, the level of your Nexamon, the higher the level Nexamon you have to fight. But if, you, if I've got load of level 1s in the team and one that's level 100, does it even out? Or does it go by the strongest one? I don't know. Up in the room. We can go in the room now. Nora's here. All right, we've got the, the we've got them cornered now. The guild tamers are here. We got to run. Hold on, we still need the target. We can do this. We're so close. You can't do this, buddies. You you can't. Not with a pongo. Oh, I've got heal now. Restores 100 HP, but for 25 stamina. That's still probably pretty good. And we're up to a 1, 2, 3 in stamina as well. I like that just because it's 1, 2, 3. All right, Pongo's gone. Uh, Rasonic? I'm going to take a few pummels, but it'll go. Oh, there we go. Critical at the right time. And now a Lurkost. Which will go down with a Pulse Storm next. Yep, there we go. No problem. 107 XP. I love it. Hmm, that's pretty strange, isn't it? It was searching for a particular kid. Just what's going on? Anyway, I should take these children outside first. Good job, Nate. See you soon. Oh, hey! I think we've rescued all the kids. Let's exit the building and report back. Let's do that in the next one, although something's happening right now. I can see you, Nate. You thought you could fool my eyes? But I know what you are destined to do. And I will not allow it. What the hell is this? No, you do not know me. Yet. But one day, we shall meet face to face. And you will know exactly who I am. Fear me, Nate. Sure. I'm terrified. Oh, I can move around? Okay, cool. Alright, we're going to save it there. We're going to call it for the day. How long have we been playing? Two hours, four? That's not bad. Alright, thank you so much for joining me. I hope you'll join me again next time. Goodbye.